Welcome back. We found the crime scene and Mosley, although he left. And we also met with uh, Malia Getty, albeit briefly. But Gabriel still seemed quite taken by her. Let's look around the crime scene some more. There are some markings on the uh, ground here, which I guess would be voodoo markings of some kind. Probably fake markings based on the newspaper article, but you never know. There seems to be a pattern to the lines in the sand. But if there is a pattern, it's smeared. There's only one small area that's clearly defined. Oh yeah, if you, if you look closely, you can sort of see that uh, it used to be a complete circle. You can sort of see some of the lines still extending out from the part of the pattern that's still visible. The lines in the sand are fairly large. Magnification wouldn't make them any clearer. I suppose. But it would be useful to make a note of them. Hmm. Let me try to get this down. If we find any real voodoo experts, we might be able to ask them what they think of that. Um, can we take a look at that in our inventory? The partial pattern from the crime scenes intrigues Gabriel. What does it mean? I wonder if there's more patterns like that uh, at the, from the other crime scenes. If so, we might want to ask uh, mostly about that. He might be able to get us the other patterns. Well, it doesn't look like anything I recognize, but then I'm not a voodoo expert. The partial pattern. Let's see... Police line? Police tape marks off the crime scene. The banks of Lake Pontchartrain are rich with clay deposits. Well, uh, it's not swamp ooze, but it might be useful. Hmm. Is that clay? Yuck! That's another one of the kind of more obscure puzzles here. Uh, at the moment we don't yet have what we need that for, but even when you do um, have that, it's kind of hard to realize that what you actually need is clay there, and that this is where you can find it, uh, considering it's likely been quite a while since you've been here. Since um, at the point where you do come across uh, the thing where you need the clay for. I'm being very cryptic, aren't I? Um, there's one other thing you might note here. That is that the grass here has an area that looks disturbed. The grass has a matted appearance there. Let's see if we can take a closer look at that. There are marks in the grass as though some heavy wire object had been set there. A heavy wire object, like a cage, or a basket or some kind? Gabriel is already... With magnification, the marks in the grass are clearer. The marks are actually deep indentations in a regular mesh pattern. And what's this? Something small and iridescent is barely visible among the indentations. It looks like a scale of some sort. A scale? Well, um, I know it's bad practice to disturb a crime scene, but this is an adventure game, and if you can pick it up, we shall pick it up. Gabriel carefully uses the tweezers to take the small iridescent scale. I think it's a snake scale, but it beats the hell out of me what kind. Well, uh, we've seen some snakes, so there's sure to be some snake experts around whom we might ask about that. Gabriel is carrying a scale he found near the crime scene at Lake Pontchartrain. 
This is the clay, by the way. Gabriel is carrying a lump of clay from the banks of Lake Pontchartrain. Looks kind of weird. Anything written on the scale? Like a serial number identifying the maker. Wait, no. That's the previous game. That item cannot be read. I was playing. Um... Lake Shore Drive runs round the entire lake. This is a particularly lonely stretch, but it's still a public road. The trees on the banks of the lake are mostly oak and elm. Very old. All right, um, I think we've done all we can here. And while I would like to um, pay a visit to Malia Getty, we don't know where she lives. So that's uh, out for now. Um, it is, however, worth going back to the police station because I do think that Mosley has returned there so we can talk to him. Let's ask the desk sergeant. Got a second, officer? What can I do you for? I'm here to see Detective Mosley. He's in his office. Go on back. All right. That's kind of what we uh, wanted, actually. About <laughs> uh, we have new things that uh, we haven't asked him about yet. But, well, you won't know any about any of it. Oh, and we have a new option. Snakes, because we found the snake skill. Do you know anything about snakes? What does this look like? A zoo? Never mind, don't answer that. <laughs> no, I, I don't know nothing about no snakes. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? Bunch of crazies out there on St. John's Eve, that's what. We're busy all night. Really? What kind of crazies? Ah, uh, your usual howl at the Mooners, I guess. They don't look no weirder than them that comes in during Mardi Gras. Never can tell, though. I guess it's a busy night for the police. What can you tell me about? I already told you. It's a busy night for us, pal. You want a history lesson? Go read a book. Okay. Do you know what Capri Saint Gaul means? Can't say that I do. For a city where so many people speak French, it's sure weird that so few people know what this means. Have you ever heard of a Schattenjäger? What is it with you? I said no. Oh, I guess I asked him about that already. Oh well. Let's um, head on back. Well, now we can read the bulletin board, I guess. Gabriel scans the bulletin board and sees a lot of bad photographs and worse writing. Gabriel there's a photocopy machine in the office area. Can we use the photocopier? There's nothing in the copier to copy at the moment. I guess we'd need to have something to copy. There's a mirror there. Looking good, kid. You know vanity's a sin, right? It's a file cabinet. Something tells me we're not allowed to open that. Gabriel wouldn't be allowed to access that file cabinet. And I was right. She's not bad. Can we talk to her? Excuse me, officer. Yes? So, what's it like being a policewoman? So, what's it like being a policewoman? The glamour never ceases. I detect a note of sarcasm there. Excuse me, officer. Yes? You know, that uniform looks great on you. Uh-huh. Is that a compliment, or are you asking to borrow my dress? It's a compliment. Well, you just never know around here. Thanks, but I'm married. 
Do you know an officer named Sonny Bonds from the Lytton Police Department? Excuse me, officer. Yes? <laughs> well, if there's hallucinogens in the coffee, I don't want it. Could you get me some coffee? Are you speaking to me? <laughs> Why, yes. Wow. Deja leave it to Beaver. I'm the police photographer, sir. You might be able to find someone around here dumb enough to get coffee for you. But guess what? It won't be me. Oh, thanks anyway. She don't take no bullshit from Gabriel, and I respect that. Just a few questions? Officer Frick or Detective Mosley could probably be more help, sir. I guess so. Let's uh, head into Mosley's office and see if we can talk to him. So check his hair before he goes in. Hey, Mosley. It's you, God help me. Mosley's office. Wait a second, wasn't that a mirror? Who's that? Franks. What a babe, huh? That's the policewoman we spoke to outside. That's funny. That window's a mirror on the other side. It's a two-way mirror. Interesting. Why does he have that in his office? That's funny. Is his office also a uh, interrogation room? Logs of unsolved cases, perhaps? Mosley must have a million of them. Nice polyester. Looks like something Mosley keeps around for formal kids. His office is a mess, by the way. I like it. Art prints of the mall variety. Mosley's bookcase holds old magazines and binders. An intercom. How high tech. They gotta keep with the times at the police department. Police department memos and other didactic blurbs. Art prints of the mall variety. A microwave. A microwave. If Gabriel knows Mosley, he is used exclusively for frozen corn dogs. Mosley's office looks a lot like his room at college. Really? That's kind of weird. Mosley. Mosley's desk has more groin on it than on his head. Logs of Mosley's office. And Mosley himself, of course. Mosley was one of those beefy guys in his youth. Now he's getting lumpy. The badge in his front coat pocket is set off particularly well by the gold polyester of his jacket. Let's see if we can talk to uh, Mosley in the next video.